All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you on this device right here, which is my Galaxy Tab. Uh, this is the 7-inch model, and this is going to be specific, obviously, for this model. Um, so let me just go ahead and just show you what we've got here, you know, standard stock operating system right here. Now you can see that there is a couple things that isn't quite stock, like my battery person, my battery up there, and uh, my quick uh, toggles here have been a little bit themed and edited uh, myself. Um, this thing does also have root application in here, which is super sue. But the point of this is to show you guys how to do a full restore of the firmware on this device. That's going to be the point of this video. So if you're running a custom ROM or for some reason your device won't boot, you bricked it, whatever it is, this video should show you how to restore it using Odin on my computer and hooking it up to this device in download mode. So let me just show you the device exactly so you know what we're working with here. We're going to go to about device and right here is your model number. That's the most important part right there. This is the model number of SM dash t two one zero r android version and our build last three digits mg4 so this is what i got right here if they update this device obviously you're going to get a different odin file than the one i'm going to show you right now because what i'm going to show you right now is for the mg4 so to do this if your device won't boot if you just want to do a full restore whatever the situation is you want to be in a powered off state so i'm going to power off this is, you're going to see when I'm done restoring that this is actually going to have the original green notification, quick toggles on top and things like that. We'll be back. So to get this thing into download mode, we're going to hold the home button. We're going to hold the volume down button and then we're going to hold power and just keep holding them and you come to this screen this is your warning screen about a warning about flashing custom operating systems which cause could cause problems with your device blah 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 warning on it but if your device is already bricked and not working what's the difference at this point uh, and if you've already hacked it or something you've probably done this step anyway so we're going to go ahead and do up volume up which is the continue button and you're going to enter download mode right here on the device so the last uh, important step you're going to do is take your USB cable, plug it into your computer, and plug it into your tablet, just like that. And that should be good here. Let's shoot back over to my computer and pick up this process from there. Okay, so uh, we're over here on the computer, guys. This is my Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch uh, folder. This is all the stuff that I've messed with on my device. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is run this Samsung USB drivers and just go ahead and run the exe file. And, like I said, I'm going to put this in your video description. Um, I'm going to say no right now just because it's already been installed for me. See, it's already installed, so I'm going to hit no. But you're going to want to run that and let everything fully install under there. Once you've done that, you're going to download this file right here. So the files you're going to want are these files, this file, and this file. These are your three files that are highlighted right here. Those are the important files on the device. So you run this one first, get the drivers installed. Then we're going to go to this one and just open it up and do an extract. Hang on. So we're just going to say extract these two files and it should extract. It does take a little bit to extract the files. Not too long though. No. You can see it's moving quite quick, quickly. Okay, and then you just close that out and you can see that the files are here and here. These are the two files. Let me do that. There you go there and there. But this is the important one right here is this file. That's what you're going to be flashing to your device. And you can see it is for that T210R and then the build of the MG4. So we're going to go into Odin, which is our program right here. And then you also extract this and, and have it wherever you can get to it on your desktop or wherever. And you're going to run this program. And the things you're going to notice that are very important is since you've already plugged your device in, you should see a COM number right here com and a number. The number doesn't matter. It just needs to have something here that says com and some number. 
This tells you that your device is plugged in and your computer can see it. This also tells you right here that you have something added and it means your computer is seeing your uh, Galaxy Tab 7 inch, Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. So you've got that, you have auto reboot checked and you have F, um, F reset timer. Those are auto checked if you download Odin 3 um, when you start the program. Now this one right here, repartition is super important. You do not touch that. It will brick your device if you click that and you flash something. So just make sure that is not checked. Um, lastly, we're going to come over here to PDA. And we're actually in the right folder already, which is my Galaxy Tab 3 folder. And here is that keys home file. So we're going to double click it. And it's going to check the MD5. Do not unplug the cable. It says please wait. And what this does is it just checks to make sure that the file you're about to flash is a legit file and is good for flashing your device. And it says everything is good. All right, and it says leaving CS. So this is the point where you can hit the start button here. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and start this process. Click start and it's going to go through a bunch of things you're going to see up here and it's firmware, writing recovery, writing boot and it's going to write all of this stuff to the device um, you can see on the device that it has a progress bar going across the bottom there just starting and it is very important to let that go fully through and let this process completely finish and make sure you don't bump or unplug that USB cable at the bottom if you do in the middle of this process, it could be critical and actually just brick your vice device permanently. So very, very important. Nothing gets bumped while you're doing this. Your computer doesn't crash. Any of those things could be a really bad situation for your device. Um, so you can see, I'll just point this out also. You can see right here, it says my binaries are custom and my status is custom. That's because I flash things to this device before, like a recovery, custom recovery and things like that. When you are running the official everything, you should say official on those two uh, spots right there. And you can also see the product name right there also listed up there at the top. So that's some good information when you're in download mode. You can see there's a progress bar up here on Odin also, which is uh, going across and it's flashing system. System is basically the Android operating system and its applications are all being flashed right now. You've already flashed, like I said, boot which is what boots up in the beginning recovery which is going to be stock Android recovery and you're doing system after system which is going to be the biggest file it should reboot the device here maybe flash a couple other things and reboot the device and we'll boot up and you even can see the progress bar right up here on Odin is also progressing uh, quite well alright so that has finished it's flashing a couple other things it has some radios which is kind of interesting or modems um, it's flashing those Im images right now. Cache partition, it's flashing that image. Um, you're getting really close to wrapping up on Odin right here. Hidden image, not sure what that is. And then it says a couple things. It says mm -hmm. reset OK and removed. Which means that it's kicked off Odin and you can actually see right here you don't have a COM port anymore because the device is rebooting. So we're just going to watch this thing. You can see now it shot into a recovery state and is flashing something else right there. I'm not really sure what that was. And we're booting up here. So at this point, um, we're going to watch this boot animation and hope this thing boots up. We can go ahead and close Odin. So I'm going to do that. And we're done with the computer. And technically at this point, you can go ahead and unplug the USB cable once you're in this booting up stage. There we go. And we're just going to sit back and uh, watch the scene boot. So that process took about eight minutes, really not that long to do a full restore on this device. Um, the boot up could take up to five, but probably shouldn't. Um, you can see we are, uh, Android is upgrading. We have a couple optimization things running right there. Um, and we're starting up the device. So this is going quite smoothly right now finishing boot and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys that what we're running here once this reboots alright there it is so we're gonna go ahead and unlock and you can see we're back to our green notification right up there on top uh, our battery I mean and then our toggles are all back to green so I restored my system 
Also, I should not have a uh, root. I still have, now see, you can see this. I still have Super Sue in there because I didn't actually wipe data with this uh, restore. But the device should not have actually have root access. Um, let's see here. Go back in there. Yeah, there's no Sue binary installed. This is a problem. So you have the app. You can uninstall the app now if you want to get rid of root access. Um, but you don't actually have root access on the device at this moment, at this point in time. So what we're going to do is go into settings. This thing's still a little laggy because we're just reflashed everything. And go to about device. And there you are. You're, you're on the same build. Everything looks exactly how you left it. You did the full restore. You unbricked your device. That's it guys, that is my full video on how to unbrick or restore the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. Um, hope you guys like this. As always, please, please check me out at rootjunkie.com. Lots of great videos on this device and many, many others. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the side. And we'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie out. Alright, so that has finished. It's flashing a couple other things. It has some radios, which is kind of interesting, or modems. Um, it's flashing those Im images right now. Cache partition, it's flashing that image. Um, you're getting really close to wrapping up on Odin right here. Hidden image, not sure what that is. And then it says a couple things. It says reset OK and removed which means that it's kicked off Odin and you can actually see right here you don't have a COM port anymore because the device is rebooted.